メタルか飯かメタルか電話かはいメタルか結婚しないプロポーズかやっぱりメタルかお得なパック出た Hey YouTube, I got a request from a user by the name of SignUpSigma to make a video with regards to the difference between the Japanese and the English script translation of Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. Since I played through both of the games, English and Japanese, uh, I can tell you off the bat that there are very few differences between the two translations. Both of the stories are very much identical and there are, are only but the obvious differences, the language. <clears throat> I enjoyed both versions of the game. English and Japanese have excellent voice actors all throughout. And the instructions and expressions and characters developed by these voice actors are phenomenal in both cases. You get a, a little bit of a different feel between uh, the games with respect to the expressions and the, and the voice inflections. It's very difficult to say one is better than the other because they are both phenomenal. Another, ma an another major difference I noticed between the games is that in the Japanese version you have a superscript saying sense in uh, a lot of the situations with referring to, I've noticed, the Patriots as well as uh, Snake. Uh, this uh, sense, S-E-N-S-E, -E, uh, the underlying theme of the game, uh, doesn't show uh, in the English translation, or they don't really mention it. Now, sense is, um, is, a, is a new theme to Metal Gear Solid. First we have genes, then we had means, and scene in MGS3. Uh, Kojima states, there are certain things you need to pass on in life. The theme of this game is sense, or that which you cannot pass on. A person's will and way of life is symbolized by Snake, continuing to fight despite his old age, and also myself, returning to direct the game. From the same wiki article, under theme, the main theme of Metal Gear Solid 4 is sense, someone's understanding of the world that is lost when they die. Throughout the Japanese version of the game, the word will is supertitled with sense. However, this is translated simply as will in the English version of the game. This theme is prominent throughout the game, from Snake's attempt to understand Naomi's intention to the misguided attempt of Zero to follow the boss's will, and JD to follow his. In all of these cases, the individual's original intent and sense of the world is questioned and unclear. However, the idea of sense isn't as apparent in the English version. Other themes in the game are easily translated, for instance, the nanomachines, the reliance on technology, uh, the fact that Snake is in a new era and he is of a dying breed. There may be subtle differences in the expressions used. However, the storyline and the script are very, very similar. As you've seen in my previous Metal Gear video, the start menu is partially English, partially Japanese. One noticeable difference between the two games is I've noticed that in Act 2, when you're with the frog soldiers, frog troopers, haven troopers, whatever you like to call it, when you hold them up and you pat them down, if you pat them in the crotch, they'll call you pervert and kick you over in the English version, they call alert. In the Japanese version, a couple of times, if you're lucky, she'll get a little bit aroused and you'll go like a little girl. Now, this is probably something that's not acceptable in the English version, so they got away with it in the Japanese version. Okay, so... I'd like to talk more, more about the themes. Uh, the smoking theme is interesting. Uh, the mm, sense theme is interesting. So I'd like to make an entire video about the sense theme because, because there's too much to cover with regards to the metaphors and symbolism and analyzing Kojima's intent on the underlying themes. Thanks, Sign Up Sigma, for the request. I'd like to make more videos with regards to analyzing Metal Gear Solid. Shout out to Paul Lighting, who is a rock and Colonel Campbell. You rock, Paul. Snake! 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 Snake!